So I'm realizing as I'm making videos that there are a lot of new people to my channel and a lot of you may not know everything about me. And so I decided that I'm gonna kind of do a draw my life video, except I cannot draw to save my life. For example, I tried to draw my family and I legitimately tried. So there's dad and mom and me, look at the height difference, Chad, Abby, Julie, Russell, Eve, Nolly, that thing that I call prickles, and then, yeah, that's a snake. So I obviously cannot draw, and I'm sure none of you guys want to see a video where I try to draw my life out like this, although that would be kind of funny and I might actually do that. So I decided to instead show my life using pictures. So I have spent the last week or so looking through for old pictures to find that I can illustrate my life with, and I've written a little narrative to go along with it. So, I hope you enjoy it. My uneventful life began in uneventful Logan, Utah on March 3rd, 2003. I was born to my parents, Kevin and Ruby Frankie. From what I've heard, I was a pretty quiet baby and I behaved very well. I was loved by my family and named after my grandma, Sherry Lynn Frankie. Life was going great until I was three months old. I had bad stomach pains and cried a lot, and we found out I had an intussusception. I needed six inches of intestines removed, and I spent a whole week in the hospital for recovery. After my surgery, I was back to being a quirky baby. I had lots of attention, was dressed in cute headbands and onesies, and I also learned how to work from a very young age. I was able to help fold clothes and do other chores like cooking and cleaning. I was naturally very curious. I loved learning and loved having people read to me. In fact, I was reading by the age of four because I begged my mom to sit down and show me how to read. When I was around two, my grandma Frankie took me to a Build-A-Bear workshop. I picked out a stuffed horse named Bubbles. I still have him to this day. When I took him home, I trimmed his tail and mane, thinking that it would grow back. You can guess that I was sadly disappointed. In 2005, we moved to Seattle, Washington, where this crazy guy was born. Chad William Frankie, named after my mom's dad, was born in a hospital right by the Husky Stadium. He took it as a sign he was meant to play football, which he's played ever since he could run. In Seattle, we had lots of trips from grandparents and lots of visits to the aquarium and Johnny Rockets. In 2007, we moved to Idaho, the land of potatoes. I couldn't find a picture of my dog as a puppy, but we got a dog that year and we named her Nolly. I remember my mom telling me that she was going to have a little girl and I remember considering the name Aspen or Abby and we chose the name Abby after mom's childhood friend. Abby was naturally very sweet and had a bad habit of sucking her finger. So then there were three. We all got along pretty well. There may have been a couple of fights here and there but we were siblings and loved each other all the same. In 2009, we moved back to Utah, where my little sister Julie, named after my mom's sister, was born. She is the first sibling I ever remember visiting in the hospital. I remember being fascinated by her, always wanting to be with her. And then, there were four, and our love for each other was only growing. 2009 was a big year for me. It was the year that I first started T-Ball. I loved the oversized helmets and the baggy t-shirts. I also started piano. This picture was from when I won my very first piano competition and I was overjoyed to have a trophy. That year, I also started kindergarten. From the first day of school, I knew that school was my passion. I loved writing and sitting on the checkered rug in class. I loved the pink skirts and ponytails that I got to wear. I wanted to be a school teacher and I was determined that that was my calling in life. When I was eight years old, I was baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Everyone in my family remembers, and knowing the gospel of Jesus Christ has brought me the greatest joy in my life. If you want to learn more about our church, I will leave our church's official website in the description down below. We were a small family at that point. I only had one other cousin, and Bonnie had just had Olivia. But that was all to change very soon. In 2011, my little brother Russell Donald was born. Donald is my Grandpa Frankie's first name. I loved being around this new baby and I took every opportunity I could to hold him. We lived a simple life in a simple home. Lemonade stands every weekend over the summer, cookies on the porch, but when we brought Russell home and had to put five kids in two bedrooms, we knew it was time to move. After our move, I started team pitch softball. I learned how to pitch and was on the bubblegum bombers. My favorite part of that year was being able to wear knee-high bright pink socks. 2013 was a big year for me. I was 11 and I started fifth grade that year 
and I was also the leader of all my siblings, and they looked up to me for everything. My little sister Eve, aka Evie, was also born that year. Up until that point, I never had a partner. Chad had Russell, Abby had Julie, and so I was excited to have a partner of my own. I helped decorate Eve's room, sang to her daily, and rocked her to sleep every night. We were a happy bunch of six kids. That year was the year I discovered a camera. I made video diaries to my sister Eve, I need to find where those are actually, and I started taking pictures with my siblings. I forced them to sit and smile for the camera, especially Russell. I had lots of cousins by that point, but I didn't have one my own age. I was accidentally called Aunt Sherry all the time when holding my little cousins. I hung out with the adults and learned the best ways to eavesdrop on conversations. Starting in sixth grade, I started to care a lot about the way I dressed. I loved leggings, wedges, and fall colors. I had lots of pictures taken all the time, and I really felt a little uncomfortable at first. But that was a good preparation for our family channel, Eight Passengers. My Aunt Ellie and Uncle Jared were the first people in the Griffiths family to start their own YouTube channel. We soon after began Eight Passengers. My first video I ever really participated in was my sixth grade science project. I was testing structure strength, and I don't remember much from that project besides the fact that I spent a lot of time on my poster. But to my heart's dismay, I didn't win. Oh, also, by the way, I'm really short, like four foot eleven. In this picture, Chad is about as tall as me, but I can promise you he is several inches above me now. I turned 13 and I started junior high. I got an Instagram account that year and I took lots of crazy pictures. I had fun playing competitive softball that year, but a back injury forced me to quit. However, in eighth grade, behind all the smiles and the fun posts, I began struggling and still struggle with anxiety and some depression. I didn't want to do anything and my personality changed. I got involved with some bad influences and never really smiled. But then I got Prickles, my hedgehog, for my 14th birthday. He helped me smile because we were so much alike, and then my life began to pick up. When I was 14, I met Brevin, one of the greatest friends I've ever had and one of the greatest people I've ever known. We hung out and still hang out all the time. If you can't tell, I'm wearing the same pants in both of these pictures, and everyone pointed that out to me, but I want you all to know, I loved those jeans. I left public school and went to a private school, which was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Eight Passengers, our family channel, was growing every day, and I felt the urge to do something more. In ninth grade, I started my very own YouTube channel. I'm so grateful for everybody's support and all the encouragement that I've received. Also, I've just taken up volleyball recently, and we just finished third in state. And now, I'm just living life to its fullest with my crazy family. All right, guys, hopefully you learned a little bit more about me in that video. That was a super fun trip down memory lane, being able to look at all those old pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want you guys to comment down below your life story. It doesn't have to be as in-depth in mine, but I want you guys to comment about your life, and I want you to know that I do read every single comment that is written to me, and I deeply appreciate each one of them. So please let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.